Dr. Noon is putting several turns of soft roll over the toes and then overlapping about the half the width of the soft roll as he moves up the legs, keeping it closely applied and firmly applied so it is a thin layer of closely applied soft roll. We prefer to use plaster for our corrections. Notice he is placing several turns of plaster over the uh, holder's fingers to get a plaster all the way out to the ends of the toes so there's a good toe plate at the end of the procedure. Notice he's keeping the plaster closely applied and uh, I like to put some tension as I go over the hind foot and just roll it on as it goes further up the leg. Some people have had success with soft cast materials. Uh, I think they probably can be used for some feet, but for some of the more difficult feet, uh, we find that uh, the feet will tend to slip in soft cast and prefer plaster as the optimal and least expensive material. Now you'll see Dr. Noonan has taken the foot from the holder. He is wrapped in the layers of the, pl of the plaster. He is moving his fingers so they do not stay in any one place for a long period of time. He is making a good mold above the heel so the cast doesn't slip. He's using the index finger of his right hand to hold the abduction and the cavus reduction that was obtained during the manipulation. And the thumb of his left finger goes to the head of the talus where he remembers its position in his mind's eye, uh, again, as the fulcrum for holding the abduction. He keeps moving his finger so that no spot takes too much pressure so the baby does not develop a sore. He will continue with moving his fingers but holding the abduction using the head of the talus as the fulcrum and molding above the calcaneus to get a well molded cast to maintain the correction. The upper portion of the cast is applied after the lower portion has set fully. Soft roll is put on, again, not thickly, but well padded, especially at the top of the thigh, so that there's a good layer of soft roll. Any irritation with a Ponsetti cast is likely to occur at the very top of the cast, so a number of good turns at the, at the groin are important. Again, the plaster is rolled on smoothly with care not to put any uh, tight bands in the popliteal fossa. Dr. Noonan has a pre-made splint you had previously seen using the roll to go back and forth over the front of the knee to strengthen the plaster at the knee without getting a, a lot of plaster in the popliteal fossa. Another simple technique is the use of preformed splint as has been done here. The knee is kept at 90 degrees. And again, this will hold the abduction of the foot and uh, avoid slipping. Short leg casts are ineffective because the plaster rotates and the abduction is lost and they are much more likely to slip. Again, the plaster is molded and held until it is fully set. This is the appearance of the feet after the first cast. The casts have been trimmed down to the MTP joints dorsally, but a full toe plate is remaining. This allows the toes to move and stretch out the flexor tendons.